Welcome again, another video. This one's uh, similar to what I've done before, but on a different model of vehicle. So this is a DAF LF, so Euro 6, and this has a engine malfunction on. There are a few common problems with these, but I'm gonna do a scan and have a quick look and see what sort of faults we have with this one. And then we'll go from there and decide what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you the best I can on how we're going to solve the problem. So, I'll get it scanned and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've got it scanned. Got a few faults on here. So the main fault that I'm looking at here that we've had problems with before, I don't know if you can see it. Differential pressure sensor, EGR. And we've got a couple of them there. So, on these, they have a problem with on the EGR where the inlet is, there's like two bungs. They're like six, five, six mil Allen key uh, bungs that go in and then they block up in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have a look, get it off. It don't, it literally takes a couple of minutes, get it off, have a look, see if it's blocked. And hopefully that was the problem and we'll get it all cleaned up and everything. So I'll go from there and I will catch you in a bit, I'm gonna get it. I'll time lapse it. I'll get it. I'm gonna strip it. I'll show it and I'll stop bits if I need to. So let's go from there and have a look and see if this is the problem. So this is our EGR here. So the problem is down here. You see them two little Allen key bungs there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off this clamp here. Sense off here, sense off here, pipe out of the way, plug off down here, which goes to the EGR, pull the EGR off, pull this inlet off, and have a look and see if the bungs are blocked. <clears throat> they do have an orange gasket under here, so if you are going to strip one, be advised to probably get one of them, but let's get it stripped and we'll have a look and see if this is the problem. No, listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you. Want to make like they got no home training? So I told my son, don't go to school bathroom no more. I'll take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. So we've got the inlet off where the... This is the EGR pressure sensor here. And they, they commonly block up. It's normally on... Well, you can see... Yeah. So you can see here... You have one you have one port that comes out in here, just down there. And then you have one that comes out here and it's block solid. So let's get these Allen key bolts out here and I'll be able to show you a little bit more on where it gets blocked up. Had a hat, no he doesn't. It's getting too hot. So if we look in there. You can see it, and it is literally block solid. Now, if that ain't going anywhere, literally anywhere, I'll try and show you a bit better. So, that should, it's literally. Block solid. You can see it. Start to see. But basically, in that hole, you have that hole that comes out. It comes out here. So you'll be able to clear it up. So. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> hole comes out here. Get this off, and we'll be able to see a little bit better as well. So I'll, I'll get the sensor off, and I'll show you a bit more. So, this EGR sensor off, pressure sensor. You can see in there. Show you. It's hard to. You see where that hole is? Literally up here. 
so it's block solid. I'd show you on the camera, but yeah, we're block solid in there. What I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to get that cleaned out. Just got a bit, I literally have a drill bit that's literally just smaller. I just got to run it through. Uh, just by hand, clean it all out. And then what I normally do is, we normally get all this stuff out here. Drop me fucking screwdriver. Try and show you, look. So we get all this out, all this soot uh, and shit out of here. Get all that cleaned out properly. We'll clean inside the block as well. I'll show you that as well. And um, yeah, so let's get this cleaned out and we'll go from there so that's it cleaned out <clears throat> the best that we can a lot different no, 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 I ain't going there but yeah hell of a lot different all the holes are cleaned out all inside's clean it fell hell of a lot better than what it did so I'm gonna I'll probably run a tap down here just to clean these holes out clean all the inside the block. I'll show you how bad that is in a minute actually. And then we'll start piecing it all back together and go from there. So that's inside the block. You can see how much shit is in there. Proper clogged up. So we're gonna get this cleaned out. I normally just scrape as much off I can. We've got a work hoover that we just clean it up, that sort of thing with. So let's get this all cleaned up and then we'll get the last little bit done. So cleaned it out it's a hell of a lot better than what it was i'll probably do a few little more bits just to get any other rubbish that's in there but yeah big difference to what it was before so we'll get the last little bits cleaned up let's clean around the edges here we need a gasket we need to and put the inlet back on with some new bungs to put in so yeah it's not a, not a bad job obviously but it's the the cleaning up process is the thing that probably takes it the most time but there's no point in just cleaning out the bungs and not cleaning anything else out you're just wasting your time let's block up again so yeah let's get this last little bit cleaned up and then we will we'll bang the inlet back on the EGR back on and everything like that so so that's two new bungs put in there <coughs> EGR done all that cleaned out here <coughs> new gasket put on there so what I'm going to do now is fit all this back on quickly clean the jar and any shit in there put that all back together and then we will clear the faults we'll give it a road test and then we should be good with it so i'm gonna time that's putting it back together because you don't want to be seeing that so yeah let's crack on <laughs> all plugged in all back how it should be so all we're gonna do now is um get the cab down we'll plug in jail test again clear out any outstanding faults and we'll road test it and then we should be good so right we've got the fault on the dash uh what we're gonna do is we're into engine lf euro 6 in engine system just gonna go Diagnosis. And there's all our faults, all non active errors. So we're just going to clear all that. Chuck it in the bin. There's the light off. So yeah, I'll road test this and then I'll come back to you how we get on with it. So it should be alright anyway, but quickly road test it and then I'll be back in a sec. So I'm on to my next job already. Got it road tested, no faults, no lights come back on. We're all good there. Nice, easy fix in the end. So if you ever got to do one, you ever get that pressure fault, have a look at that. Take it, take the inlet off, take the EGR off and check them, take them two bungs out, five mil um, hex key and just check that there's that it's not bunged up and, and clogged up. If it is, get it all cleaned out, put some new bungs in 
um, and then go from there with it. So cleared all the faults. We've been out of the road on it, and it's and it's, it's a lot better now. We've got no faults, so we're all good. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope I can catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you could subscribe, even better. It always helps me out. I appreciate the support as usual, and I'll see you all in the next video.